Hey everyone, it's Chef Andrew Fourlines with ChefAF.com and today I wanna to talk to you about induction cooking. Induction looks like the old electric tops but it's completely different technology and I'll explain how it works. The old electric tops where a ceramic coil got red hot, glowing red hot and would heat the pan from the bottom, right? Well the magnetic field in here generated by an induction generator, it's a copper coil pulsing on and off to create friction in the pan itself. A lot of people think you need special pans for inductions. What you need is um, magnetic pans. So if you stick a magnet to the bottom of your pans, if it sticks, it's gonna work. Uh, aluminum and copper don't work. So today we're working on the Heston Q. This is a countertop burner. You can also get burners induction in cooktop form. So we do have nice glass top cooktops that can be built in. Ranges now have induction. And induction has made the old electric tops obsolete so that we have a much more efficient cooking process. We've got 95% efficiency of converting the energy into heat with induction. Old electric tops were about 75%. When we talk about gas cooking, we're at 35 to 40% efficient. You're heating a lot of gas that's gonna go right around the pan before the metal can absorb that heat. So you get a lot of spillover heat. You're gonna heat up the house. Uh, in the summer, induction, I can cook indoors and not heat up the whole kitchen. Gas also, because we're burning oxygen in the home, you're gonna need a lot of ventilation to get that carbon monoxide out. If you go over 400 CFM uh, leaving the house, we're gonna need to bring air in somewhere else, and that's a whole nother HVAC project. With induction, by code, we don't technically need any ventilation. We're still gonna want some to get rid of smells and any smoke that we might create while we're cooking, but it could be a much lower CFM, so a lower hood. It also works better with downdraft. Gas does not work very well with downdraft ventilation. So. You can see this is coming to a boil. We're here in Denver, Colorado. We've got the elevation working against us as well. The higher we get in elevation, the less oxygen there is in the air. So gas burns at even less efficiency and uh, less heat output. So induction, we're gonna get that nice high powered heat. Um, it's talking to me a little bit. Some of these burners, um, depending on the power going out, you can hear a little bit of buzzing. The nicer the pots and pans, the less uh, buzzing you're gonna get because it's gonna have a lot of interaction with that metal. Now, a lot of people come into the showroom and talk to me about getting gas burners in the home. I'm not a big fan of gas in the home because you're getting residential gas. I'm used to commercial gas ranges which have 40,000 BTUs to start. And we're going up to 100,000 BTUs for a wok burner, right? In the home, we're not gonna get anything over 25,000 BTUs and most of them are gonna be much lower than that. I'm gonna turn this off and you're gonna see how responsive it is and how quickly it's gonna settle down to a simmer. The induction is gonna be much more precise, much more responsive than the electric tops, um, kind of like gas. So the induction has really made the old electric tops obsolete and it's really given gas a run for its money because gas, like we talked about, is less efficient, a lot of heat in the home, but also it's got less heat output. So most burners in the residential space for gas are about 15 to 18,000 BTUs. We see some real high-end ones getting up to 22,000. 25,000 is the, the most I've ever seen. Where induction is concerned, even your mid-grade induction can be 35,000 BTU equivalent. So we're gonna have more heat output with an induction burner than gas can in the residential space because you don't have a fire suppression system and ventilation like restaurants do, right? So here's my recommendation. Do induction indoors for your efficiency, for your power, for all the great features and functions, the cleaner air you're gonna have, and do gas outdoors. I personally have a gas grill at home. It's got an infrared gas burner. You can also get an outdoor burner that's gas fed. So you can have that built in, have an outdoor kitchen if you want. You can get a portable one with the propane hookup. Those are great for crab boils. You've got your paellas and wok cooking. Then again, you're gonna get that higher BTU. We do have built-in outdoor burners that can get up to 65,000 BTU. So now we're in that high BTU again. So even though something may look like a nice commercial range uh, indoors in the residential space, by code, we can't have that much BTU output because then we're gonna talk about fire dangers in the house, right? You can only have so much heat being put out. So for all these reasons, I'm a big fan of induction. I have it in my home. It's been around for decades, for 100 years the technology has. It's used in uh, submarines. You can't have a gas stove underwater. It's used in high-rise buildings because you can't open the window for ventilation. So it, induction has been in the restaurant industry for many years too. 
we use it in banquet halls, at brunches, whenever we're out with the guests and we're cooking in front of them, we don't necessarily want gas in that environment and to stink up the room and to create fumes. So we're gonna use induction to poach eggs and make omelets and those kinds of things. You know, in, there is no one best appliance. There's what's best for you and what's best for the job that you wanna get done. So I say the right tool for the right job. Uh, induction is great because it's got a lower low than gas and it's got a higher high. So we can do really low cooking. I can melt chocolate on induction without a double boiler and leave it there for hours and hours and it'll never scorch. You can't do that with gas. Uh, you can't do that with an electric top at all. So personally, I love induction. I have it in my home. Uh, and I say induction indoors, gas outdoors, and you're gonna be set to get the best of both worlds. So thanks for hanging out and watching. Check out more videos as they come along. Check out the website, chefaf.com, to learn about classes that are coming up, learn about uh, all kinds of new technology that's available in the residential space. I'm Chef Andrew Fourlines here to be your guide in advanced appliance technology. So thanks for hanging out.